So I was watching a note block remix video and in the comments this guy was like, I wish Minecraft's note blocks were this accessible. I would definitely make a Minecraft band and do live performances. And you know, I can totally agree with this dude because I'm a musician. I would love to do some like Minecraft concerts. I think that'd be an awesome idea. So I better go down and support his comment with a like. And oh, nope. Edit, thanks for all the likes, guys. I've actually been playing with Idea and made a compact keyboard, which is fun, but you still can't play nearly as fast and complex as shown in the video, which disappoints me, since I'm a drummer and that's where all the fun parts of the instrument comes from. Thanks again for the likes, though. Oh boy. Now, I'm sure we all know that YouTube comments aren't the greatest source of intellect and wit. To get a sense for it, take the IQ score distribution. YouTube comments are just about way over here, but you can't see them because unfortunately this IQ spectrum doesn't show people who have negative IQ, which just about defines YouTube commenters. The purpose, I think, of YouTube comments is to continue the original video beyond what the actual creator intended. A lot of YouTube comments have a lot of great jokes or points that are sometimes even better than the original video itself. But the moment you destroy that moment with a completely unrelated side comment, the entire thing goes to waste. This Riley person was like, literally, I just go around the house singing like this for no reason. And not exactly like the funniest comment, but you know, maybe I can kind of find it relatable or something, but no. Edit, boy, 1.3k likes, question mark, one exclamation point, question mark, alternating, one, one, one. Like, you know, the comment wasn't actually that good to start out with, but basically what you've done is you've made it a hundred times worse by thanking people for the likes for some crappy comment that you've added. A lot of social media uses this like system. I mean, the comments section would be completely useless if all the crappy comments were shown at the top. So to further engage the audience, YouTube auto ranks the top liked comments at the top of the comment section. And what happens is this just creates this competition between viewers to see who can come up with a funnier comment. And the result is that a lot of the time, the top YouTube comments are often a goldmine for humor. So if you get a lot of likes on your comment, good job, pat yourself on the back. People thought you were funnier, they agreed with you. But just leave it there for God's sake! <laughs> this is a pretty good example of people putting way too much effort into the comments that they make. So this cat person's like, 223 timestamp, he wants to kill me. So, you know, already, like a timestamp comment honestly should not be ranked that high if I'm going to be honest. But no, we've got the edits. Edit. OMG, thanks for five likes. That's the most likes I've ever got. That's actually pretty sad, not going to lie, but uh, no one really cares. But no, edit too, 19 likes. Thank you so much. You didn't have to edit it twice. And the fact that you came back to your own comment is kind of sad. But no, edit three. OMG, thank you for 41 likes. Is that it? Hopefully that's it. Nope. Edit four. Thank you, my dudes and dudettes. 51 likes. And this comment was made two weeks ago, and right now it's at 53 likes. I'm guessing that it was like 51 likes a couple days ago, which means that over the two weeks, this person has been keeping up with this comment that they made, and they're thanking people consistently for the number of likes that they got, even though it's only 53. It's like not even triple digits. What? Come on. <laughs> I think the worst part about liking comments on YouTube is that YouTube won't let you know if a comment you've liked has been edited recently. The last thing I want is for a comment that I like to be utterly destroyed by one of these edits praising people who liked their comment, and I will have no idea that this is being done. Another timestamp comment, 740, when my phone power off, you know, not exactly the funniest comment, but I suppose it's relatable in some way. And now we've got the edit, how my god, 1k likes, two emojis, which just makes it worse, thanks guys. And this comment is at 2k likes right now, which means that 1,000 people saw this edit and were like, you know what, this comment is still a top quality comment even though the original content was kind of mediocre, I'm still gonna like it, and now it's at 2,000 likes. What? Why? Come on, are you serious? This is why I'm making this video, because this stuff is just so stupid. A lot of the time, YouTubers will thank people for likes in videos because it shows that the content that they maybe put hours into is being enjoyed and possibly blowing up because people put a like on the video. YouTube comments, on the other hand, take less than a minute to type out, and the comment they involve usually only takes a minute or so to think up. So when you thank people for likes, you're basically expressing your gratitude and happiness happiness to people that literally spend a few seconds reading your crappy text that you put out on the internet. None of us care! We just came here for the extra humor and you're trying to act all sentimental by saying this is the most likes you've ever gotten? You're not a clown, you're the entire circus. So I don't know if you guys know who The Do is, but basically on one of his videos, this guy was like, when you think The Do isn't gonna play another instrument, The Do, another one. Ha, <laughs> like the DJ Khaled meme from a couple years back. 
kind of relatable, not really that funny, but, you know, honestly, it still relates to the original video, so I'd be fine with giving this a like. But nope, scroll down, edit, holy cow, that's a lot of likes, thanks, pooples. Like, I mean, he tried to be funny with the edit as well, but it just made the entire comment worse. You, you see how this, like, kind of just, like, draws away from what the comments, like, actually tried to say? This is why you shouldn't edit your comment and thank people for likes, it just completely ruins whatever joke you were trying to make. This dude's like, Sound of Silence cover please do, and you know, I can totally agree with this, I think Sound of Silence would be pretty cool for the dude to cover, but just completely off an entirely irrelevant tangent, edit, Jesus guys, thanks for the likes, I hope he sees it. You know, something tells me that if people are liking your comment, that means that it's becoming top rated, and that tells me that he's probably seen your comment. So you don't need to tell people that you're hoping for it. And again, it just kind of shifts away from what he's trying to say. I mean, now it's no longer about the Sound of Silence cover. It's just, good job, I got likes on my comment, yay. A lot of other social media is similar, but YouTube is worse than most of them. Reddit, for example, has got plenty of clowns who edit their comment and thank people for giving them an upvote or a Reddit award, which is just... Just don't, please stop. Fortunately on Reddit, people are a little bit more aware of how stupid it is and they downvote those things like immediately, which is, which is nice. Instagram, thankfully, doesn't allow you to edit comments on other people's posts, but I assure you it would be a complete disaster if they added that feature since Instagram is just about the epitome of terrible memes. But by far the worst culprit of this stuff is Twitter. Every single time a tweet blows up, the person who made the tweet will not only thank people for likes and retweets, but they'll also usually add some SoundCloud link or advertise their social media. If tweets were an art that took long amounts of time to create, then it wouldn't be as bad, but if your magnum opus is some tweet that you blurted out in 30 seconds, I am so sorry for you. On some dude's screenshot on Twitter, this guy replied, charge your phone please, and this comment got 2,211 likes, which is pretty good for Twitter standards, and this is a reply to someone else's tweet, just to keep in mind, and below it, he adds, I've gained no followers from this tweet. <laughs> you are... <laughs> This dude got about 100,000 retweets and 636,000 likes on his tweet, and then he followed it up with, y'all go follow my meme account because I finally have a chance to promote something. One tweet that blows up, people see this for like a couple seconds, and then you follow it up with a promotion. Like, it's, it's such a bad idea, and it's so stupid and cringy, I swear. And this has got to be by far the worst one I have ever seen. This dude's like, and put lots of ads in them, donate the money, gain charity. I honestly don't remember what the original tweet was. I could find it if it was that dire, but this guy responds at Mr. Beast YT because, you know, relating to lots of ads and donating the money to charity, pretty uh, similar to what Mr. Beast does on his YouTube channel. And this guy responded to it with, thanks so much for the likes. The comment, the reply that you added literally takes two seconds to make and you thank people for the likes for some crappy thing that you've done that, that it's funny i will give it to you it's it's kind of funny but it's like you just completely ruined it and 21 people like this for some who knows why reason and i think the best part about this is the reply after is just this guy yeeter griffin is just the people who say thanks for the likes are the same people who clap in the plane lands <laughs> it's that's that's a really good way to sum it up But I think the best summarization of this entire situation is just in this one sentence on reddit It's like the Oscars for people with no life Plebsy McPlebster never before have I seen someone sum up this entire situation in one just Completely elegant sentence and he didn't even have to edit it with anything. He just he left it there It's a beautiful beautiful comment. I, I think moral of the story is that People don't really care. It's like the Oscars, again, like, you can talk and thank people all you want, but the end is that we're just here for the jokes. You don't need to tell people how much you care about them. Just stop at the joke right there and leave it right there. You guys make wonderful comments. Just stop it right there, please. I'm begging you.